Namaste and welcome to episode 10 of Flutter Upright Tutorial Series. In this episode, we are going to learn to deploy Upright in a digital ocean in our own VPS so that we can access it online. So first, head over to DigitalOcean, sign up, create an account if you have not already created one. Once you create the account, tap login and you should see the list of projects. Then in the top right corner, tap on create and create a droplet. This will create a virtual private server. So while creating a droplet, we can choose to start from Ubuntu. However, I would like to choose from Docker. So in marketplace, search for Docker. and choose the docker instance and for this I'm going to choose a basic plan with shared CPU and 1 GB RAM 25 GB SSD I'm not going to add any volumes right now I'm going to choose the data center as New York no VPC I do not want virtual networking right now and I want to add my SSH key right here and name my droplet host name. This should actually be your domain name. So whatever domain name you are going to use to access this droplet, use that as a host name. Select a project. So I'm going to keep it in my personal project and then create droplet. It should take some time. Until then, let's see, get started in app right and let's go to installation and let's copy this Unix command for installation for now. We'll need this. And down here, you can see upright server upright in production. So in production, we need to make certain changes. By default, the upright setup doesn't come with a unique generated encryption key. This key is used to store your files and sensitive data like webhook, password, etc. So unique key, we should set the unique key value in our Docker Compose file limit the console access by default anyone can sign up for your server so we should limit the console access you can either set a list of ips email addresses or email domains which users are allowed to sign up you can choose one or multiple restrictions method to apply so limit we can limit the console access it has created the created our droplet now let us assign our subdomain. So I'm using a subdomain here. Let us add the a record for my domain to access this. So let me go to and let me add a record. So now let me add the subdomain a record again. create record it should successfully create the record however if I go to right now the container does not have anything so it should not load anything now let us access our container from SSH So here I am logged in. Let me clear. Let's copy the installation command from here. Copy to clipboard. So 
So our server host name will be default port is 80. That's fine. That's fine. CNAME target fine. So this will pull all the required images images and it should run here i am directly using the root account however after setup what you should do is you should create a new user account instead of using the root account and you should block the root login so it's pulling the images docker images okay so our docker instance is running we can see that by docker ps see it's running let's reload this page okay we are having some issues once we reload we should be able to sign in but we have not created any accounts right so before that what i'd like to do is I'd like to see the docker compose.ml file. Let's go here. Let's sign up. Okay, sign up. Now we are in our upright console. So this is how easy it is to deploy our upright in the server all you need is a virtual server vps and a docker so if you have a ubuntu vps you can just install docker and docker community edition and you can run the installation command provided here or if you are using digital ocean you can directly start from the docker image so that you have docker you already have the docker installed and you can directly get on with it now that you know how to deploy upright in production using DigitalOcean or any other vps providers i'd like to share some tips to make your upright secure in your production so if you remember when you set up upright using the command provided by upright you get docker compose dot ml file inside upright folder in your server to make it secure we can use various environment variables in docker compose in upright service so if you look at the docker compose there are many different services running so there are many different containers that are running to provide the complete functionality of upright so check the upright service in upright service there are different options in that what we are most concerned about is the environment the very first thing you need to change is the open ssl key v1 so this key you need to generate a unique unique key here and keep it secure somewhere it is used to encrypt all the data files and other sensitive data like webhook passwords etc in the upright server so that it is it cannot be accessed by someone else and next thing we would like to do is we would like to restrict access to the console we do not want anyone to log into console create projects and host their data so to do that we have few options first one is emails so we can fix the email and only those email will be allowed to sign up or sign in in the upright console so to fix the email which have access we add a environment variable like this iphone underscore app app console whitelist emails and we pass in comma separated email addresses so i can pass in here
So after adding this, you just need to run the command docker compose up dash d. So from terminal, you have to run in the folder where there is your docker compose.ml file, you need to run docker compose up dash d. So once you have updated your docker compose file, you need to run this command again so that your updated configuration is applied in the docker instances. So this is one way to limit access to your app write console. This way only test1 at gmail.com and test2 at gmail.com will have access to the app write console. Next you can specify the IP addresses using app console whitelist IPs equals to say something like this comma like this so if you provide these whitelist IPs again you need to do docker compose up hyphen D after this only this email and only from this IP you will be able to access the console otherwise you will not be provided access to the console apart from updating the app write environment we need to update few other things so first thing is in the MariaDB change the MySQL root password so change this root password by default it is root secret password you need to change this MySQL database you can also change the database name and you can change the user and password you need to change this user and password as well so that after changing these passwords here you need to use the same user and password in the app write service as well in app db user and app db pass you need to change this here as well and in schema you need to put the correct database name that you kept here so these are some of the tips for going in production thank you everyone for watching this tutorial See you again in the next episode.